Part one showed you how to do input validation on a string using a handler like this with two parameters passed in. This video is to show you how to do the same thing but using a function rather than a handler in this way. And the reason why I'm doing this is because we have a situation where I want to return one single value and that's validity is going to come back true or false. So in the same way, it's like the length of p. This is a predefined function. We pass in p and it returns one single value. And that is the key characteristic of a function is that it returns one single value. So other functions that you have available to you are things like square root of 64 that would return 8 one single value you could say random 100 and it will turn return a single random value from 1 to 100 so I'm going to recast this as a function so instead of writing this here where I call the module and then I ask about the parameter I'm actually going to put this in the place of this condition so I'm actually instead of passing back validity as a parameter I'm going to call the function which in itself will evaluate to a single value so when I call check valid and I send over temp password, this expression here will evaluate to one single value, either true or false. So down here I need to change this so that I'm just saying check valid p. And at the end here, I have to tell live code what I want to return as the value and I'm going to be returning v. Do you see I've got true into v, I put false into v if I find any of these conditions don't work. So I'm going to return v as the value of this function. So when it carries out this function it evaluates v and that is the value of that function which gets returned up there. So I don't need this line because what happens, move this up here, I say repeat until and this will call this function down here which will evaluate to either true or false. It will repeat till it's true and if it's not true it will say invalid, get a temporary password come around and check whether that one is valid. It'll go off and do it and return a value true or false. Get another temporary password, check valid that one, and again that will return true or false. So it's a way of shortening the code, but it's also recognizing the fact that you have a situation where what you're trying to do is generate one single value and that as I say is the key characteristic of a function rather than a module or a handler. So I do need to change this and tell live code that it is a function. So let's just see if this compiles. So I'll put control S to save it. And I'm going to click on here, enter password. Let's see if I can. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And that's valid. Let's enter one that's not valid. So we'll go capital J, H, Y, T, capital K, 7, invalid password. Let's do one that's too long. So invalid password and let's do some exceptional characters invalid password but as soon as I have eight characters 
that are lowercase alphabetic or digits 0 through 9. Oh, that should have worked. And for some reason it's not working. I'm going to stop the video here and see why it's not working.